A controversial campaign by the unions to torpedo industrial relations reform. The omnibus bill will hurt Australian workers. But the wheels have fallen off as the government dumps four out of five planks of its plan. We do not have the numbers in the Senate. Reforms to enterprise bargaining, award simplification, greenfield agreements and tougher penalties for wage theft all abandoned. The one surviving element, changes enabling casuals to convert to permanent work more easily, which thereby prevents so-called double dipping claims of loading and leave entitlements. Today is all about ensuring greater certainty for casual employees. Section after section of the bill get gutted. It was like things collapsing in the main scenes of a disaster movie. Despite 10 months of negotiations and having largely secured One Nation support, the government unable to win over the final necessary crossbench vote. It is not so much a compromise bill as a mess of a bill. Salvage some pride by passing Sir, a bill order. that on your own admission you're going to gut because you haven't got the numbers. The having promised to oppose the entire package, Labor now argues the government has been forced into an humiliating defeat. Does the Prime Minister now admit that his industrial relations changes failed to meet the basic test of providing secure jobs and decent pay. They did not want to support these measures. And now they say they do want to support these measures, Mr Speaker. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like an each way bet. After a protracted process that started at the beginning of the pandemic, the Prime Minister raising the white flag, making the political calculation that passing something is better than nothing. In the process, those scrapping broadly bipartisan plans to strengthen criminal penalties on wage theft. Shame on you all for trashing such an important amendment. Well, today they threw a tantrum. They acted vindictively. What they then did was move to green light wage theft and to entrench casual work. Scott Morrison clearly unwilling to face a protracted battle over IR with an election on the horizon. I'm a practical person too. If this Senate is saying they don't want to support those measures, then we'll have to consider that in terms of how we go forward, uh, because I'll send them other things to approve. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.